everybody, welcome back to Monster Motorsports Diecast Racing Network, home to the Pacific Rim Speedway. I am your host, Rubber Toe, and we are broadcasting atop the Yomatsu Harasakai Tower on this 4th of July weekend here in the United States. And thank you everyone for tuning in on your holiday weekend, because tonight is both semi-final rounds and the finals for the Just Say No to Tampo's Diecast Racing Tournament. So we have a lot of racing for you tonight. So let us not waste any more time and get on to the drivers, shall we? First up, we've got Idiot Luggage in that white number 63 high beam from Nowhere USA, followed up by Daddy G from G4 Diecast Racing in that Ferrari Testarossa. Next up is Dalevis Jenkins Jr. from Commotions Diecast driving that Cadillac Escalade. And last but not least, we've got Fern from Fumo Diecast in that Soul Air CX4. Let us head on up to the start gate, and here they are. You got Daddy G and Idiot Luggage on the front row, and Fern and Dalevis on the back row. And here they go for lap one to start off the semifinals. You got Daddy G and Idiot Luggage. Daddy G gets the whole shot around Kickapoo. Idiot Luggage spins around by Fumo, and Idiot Luggage able to hold on to second place, but not quite sure who took third. As you see Fern spin Idiot Luggage around on that middle straight. Oh, that was a close one for third place. We're going to have to slow that down. And Fern holds on for third as Dale is trying to do a last minute charge. And wow, all the cars finished tonight. There are your point standings after one lap. These cars and drivers, they have come here to race tonight. Here they go for lap two, Idiot Luggage trying to pull away from Fern. Fern gets the whole shot. Dale, oh, it's a crash. Dale is Jenkins Jr. Dale is gonna take the win to capitalize on the crash at gate three. We have not had a crash in gate three in quite some time. Daddy G, Idiot Luggage, and Fern all wrecked around the helipad. Oh my goodness, let's check out the replay. Oh, wow, look at that pile up. Unfortunately, Idiot Luggage nowhere to go and can't get around Daddy G. Let's check it from the Gate 3 camera. Oh, Fern goes off track, hits Gate 3, smashes into everybody, but Davis able to just keep going and keep that momentum. Only one to score points was Davis. So Davis and Daddy G up on top with six and five points respectively. Davis and Fern on the front row for lap three. Here they go, Davis taking a huge lead. Daddy G right behind us. Oh, Davis flips over. Daddy G gets around, here comes Fern. But Fern unable to avoid Daddy G and nails him right in the rear bumper. Oh, there is Davis upside down right there at gate five. Wonder what happened to Idiot Luggage. Where is he at? Oh, he is upside down over there in the helipad behind the commotion diecast sign. That is unfortunate for Idiot Luggage. Here's the gate three cam. Oh, you see Idiot, or you see Delvis flip over. Oh, and it was kind of hard to tell where Idiot Luggage flipped over. Oh, Idiot Luggage goes low, hits the gravel, which causes him to flip over. That is unfortunate from Idiot Luggage because he has had a fast car in this entire tournament here we go for the fourth and final lap oh it could be between fern or idiot luggage or dalvis we got to see what's going on who's going to advance and they are off for the fourth and final lap daddy g and dalvis dalvis oh dalvis goes up on two wheels but able to hold on daddy g takes the win oh wow fern flips over and skids on his roof to the finish line and is able to just barely cross and get those two points. Idiot Luggage again crashing near gate three. 
Let's check out the replay. Who ends up hitting gate three? Wow, idiot luggage hitting gate three and doing that somersault. Just dives it too short. Fern able to get under idiot luggage. Let's see it over the helipad. You can see, wow, Dale just goes up on two wheels and is able to keep on going. That is amazing. Daddy G gets sideways in the middle straight, gets T-boned by Dalevis, but Daddy G able to hold on for first, Dalevis for second, and Fern for third. What are the final standings? And Daddy G and Dalevis Jenkins Jr. will be moving on to the semifinals. There they are, Daddy G from G4, Diecast Racing, and Dalevis Jenkins Jr from commotion die cast let's look at our drivers for group two we've got arlo from arlo racing in that silver delorean the man out of time then bay city daryl in that 1982 chevy camaro z28 and also in this group you've got Ro diego roman from Diego's Divecast in that blue Honda Civic. And one of our fan favorites from Rust Belt Customs is Cupcake in that Datsun Bluebird 510, which has been also fast in this tournament. Here they are up at the start gate. You got Arlo and Daryl in the front row, Diego and Cupcake in the back row for lap one. Here they go, Arlo with an awesome lead, followed by Cupcake. Look at these, wow, look at these. Are they gonna crash or are they gonna keep going? And Arlo and Cupcake able to finish, but you got Daryl and Diego just slamming into the rear over there in Kaiju's lair, unable to finish lap one. Let's check out the replay. Wow, Arlo goes off track, so does Diego but they're able to amazingly recover. But then Arlo gets sideways, Cupcake gets sideways, Daryl tries to get around and pass, but unfortunately his plans are thwarted by Diego, who rear ends him in Kaiju's lair, forcing him to turn over and both Diego and Daryl unable to finish lap one. Let us go back up here to lap two you've got cupcake and arlo in the front row and daryl and diego in the back row daryl and diego got to get some points on the board if they want to fight it out here goes cupcake cupcake on the inside around the sewer vent cupcake in first here comes arlo arlo wow another crash now oh there went daryl and cupcake finishes oh diego roman oh and arlo they just spin out and crash what happened does, did Diego really want to stop and get a K-Bob at this time? You got to finish the race first, buddy. Oh, Daryl from Bay City is off track, stuck between the retaining wall and the track just before gate five. Look at that crash in the helipad. Oh, Arlo hitting gate four on the exit. Wow. Oh, Daryl hitting the light post down there right before gate five, right there's what throws him off the track and wow i mean diego roman seriously you're, you're that hungry you got to have one of these amazing kebabs right now arlo looks like he sees him and tries to stop but unfortunately for arlo arlo you should have just plowed right through him to get your points i'm telling you oh after two laps going into lap three right now it looks like Arlo and Cupcake are the two to beat in this group. Here they go for lap three. Diego out in front, followed by Daryl. Cupcake, oh, Cupcake! Did Cupcake just hit the We Rate side cast sign? Wow, Diego in first. Daryl flips over the finish line for second. Wow, there is Cupcake from Rust Belt Customs. Looks like he just nailed that billboard. Check out the gate three cam. Oh, and he does! Knocks the billboard off its post. Arlo slams into it, but keeps on going. And Cupcake unfortunately flips over. So we've had gate three and that billboard take out some cars tonight. And this is how they finish 
lap three. What are their current standings? Because this could affect the cupcake pretty well. And this could be anyone's race right here to advance. Which two will be the two to move forward here in lap four? You got Daryl out in front, followed by Diego Roman in second. Daryl getting a big lead. Here they all four come across the finish. Wow. Everyone trying to grab some points. Even Arlo shutting the door on Cupcake to get those last few points. And, whoa, look at those points spread. Arlo and Cupcake advance by just a single point over their opponents. And here are your four finalists. Arlo, Cupcake, Daddy G, and Davis Jenkins, Jr. Well, we will be right back. Monster Motorsports, in collaboration with Glenn's Car Creations, are bringing you a new Monster Motorsports Diecast Racing T-shirt. This T-shirt is what racing at the Pacific Rim Speedway is all about. Get your T-shirt at the Monster Motorsports Teespring Shop today. All right, we are back for the finals. No need for driver intros. You know who they are. Davis and Daddy G on the front row, Arlo and Cupcake on the back row. Here they go for the finals, and Daddy G comes back, hits the whole shot, followed by Cupcake spins around, does like a speed racer maneuver to throw off Davis. Oh, and we're missing one of the drivers. Whoa, here comes, well, there's Arlo. Did he jump in time and then come back? Where was he at? Look at this maneuver. Dale was sneaking up on Cupcake. Cupcake says, no, get that weak sauce out of here. And Hood flips Davis to get him off of his tail. Oh, Arlo hits the We Race diecast sign as it's being repaired. Look at that. Wow, as we all remember earlier in this tournament, Arlo went off the back of the cliff right there at the We Race diecast sign. Woo! Good thing he did not go off the backside of the cliff this time. After one lap, everyone has points on the board. They are here to race. Daddy G and Cupcake on the front row. Davis and Arlo in the back row. Here they go for lap two. You got Davis and Cupcake fighting for first. Daddy G gets out the whole shot. Here comes Cupcake challenging Daddy G, unable to pass. Daddy G able to take first, holding off Cupcake. Wow, almost a sub 10 second time. Look at them, they are just stacked, heading around the helipad. And Arlo trying to get around Davis right there at the end, but Davis blocking him out to maintain third place. Here they are, after two laps, the point standings, Daddy G out in front, but now starts in the back row. Gives Arlo and Cupcake a chance to close the gap as they start out in the row three or third lap out in the front row. Arlo out in front, followed by Cupcake. Where did, wait, where did Dalvis go? Did Dalvis just crash in the sewer vent? Whoa, there's Dalvis right there. Where did Dalvis come from? I thought Dalvis crashed in the sewer vent, but now he's right there at gate six. Is he go? Is he traveling through time now? Let's check out the sewer vent cam. Oh, Delvis flips off the track, hits the light pole. Oh, this, this is the this is the Delvis bump and run, baby. Look at this. Look at this. If it wasn't for that light pole, Delvis would have fallen off that cliff in the Kaiju's lair. This is now the Delvis bump and run, baby. He gonna. I bet you he's drinking a Mr. Pib in that in that car right now. Here he comes, just keeps driving. Well, Davis, you said, you know, if you got good wheels, you keep going. But unfortunately, he flips in Kaiju's lair, unable to finish and at least get a point. Wow, Davis, that was some amazing driving right there. Wow. Here are the point standings after three laps. Can anybody stop Danny G, Cupcake, and Arlo have a chance? Davis is just along for the ride now with his Mr. Pib. Here they go. Davis out in front, followed by Daddy G going through Kickapoo Pass. Arlo trying to pass Daddy G. Davis crashes again. Daddy G with the win. 
and he seals his championship here in the Just Say No to Tampos Diecast Racing Tournament. Dale this on his roof in the middle straight, can't keep it together, crashes through the helipad right here. Daddy G just takes the easy inside line, Arlo trying to pass, unable to do so, and with this win, Daddy G is the champion for the Just Say No to Tampos Tournament, joining the other two winners this year, Marquista from M&M, Mopar Mac from Mac Racing, and there's Daddy G from G4 Diecast Racing, heading on to the end of year King of Monsters Tournament. And a big shout out to our sponsor, Kenny's Kick. Wait, what is, what is that in the background? Hey, where's, what is that? What is that? Fish and chips. It's Frankie's Fish and Chips is back. Fish and Chips Cafe. Forget the small stand. We're going to full-size restaurant, Frankie says. Drivers receiving 10% discount. Wow, that is just awesome. Frankie is back. Daddy G wins the tournament. This was amazing. We hope everyone enjoys what they saw tonight. Wow, my heart is still racing. Man, the Dale this bump and run looked like he was going to fly off the track, get saved by a light pole. I, get, I bet you he had one hand on the steering wheel, drinking his Mr. Pib, and no dealio, no scared, no nothing. He just keeps going. Why not? It would have been cool if he actually got a point, though. That would have been amazing. And that we race diecast in gate four, taking its toll again. Well, everyone, thank you for joining us for another great tournament. Next week, we will be kicking off the Race of the Rising Sun Diecast Racing Tournament, which features nothing but JDM cars. It is a 48-car field. It is going to be head-to-head -head racing. First time you will witness head-to-head -head racing here at the Pacific rim speedway but don't go away we've got a quick teaser to show you tonight but do not forget that here at the pacific rim speedway we want everyone to be safe and keep your wheels on the road